Hey there, freaking nerds. So it appears that XESS 2.0 has been released in Indiana Jones and the Great Circle Update 3. Um, in, the, in the patch notes, they said that they updated it to XCSS 1.4, which like doesn't seem to exist anywhere. But when people checked the DLL, it was XCSS 2.0, um, even though it doesn't support whatever. Anyway, um, what I, so what people have done is they've ported that DLL to some other games, and so that's what I did here to Cyberpunk. And I'm using DLSS Enabler to inject the XCSS 2.0 DLL for DLSS. So that's what it says right here, and that is accurate, and it's an ultra performance, so it's upscaling from 480p still, <laughs> up to 1440p, so it's still going to look weird, but I'm telling you, I'm going to check out XCSS 1.3.1 in a sec, and it looks significantly worse. Like, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a noticeable difference, you know, it's not like a major change to the architecture, I don't think, but the DLL file is twice as big for the new version, and it gets rid of a lot of the shimmering around moving objects, especially characters. So like, this is 480p right now, and you know, when we switch back to 1.3, you'll see how much weirder it is, like around characters walking around. In holograms too, I noticed the holograms look significantly better in motion mostly. That's that's the biggest improvement actually I've noticed. And with leaves. With leaves and holograms and people in motion. So this looks pretty damn good if you ask me. I mean, considering the input resolution, that's that's what I'm saying. And I'm only doing that to make it, you know, more obvious on YouTube. So I noticed there was way less flickering in these handles and like those railings up there in the new version. So you know looks pretty stable here, but let's switch back to, and then those trees right there, but let's switch back to 1.3.1, see how that looks. Alright, so now we've switched to XCSS 1.3.1. I had to restart the game, but I'm back at the same save, and... Alright, let's see here. Sorry, I had to burp. Um, okay, cars, characters. Yeah, no, it, like it's, it's really subtle, so I'm not surprised if it's hard to tell on YouTube. But especially on characters in the distance, like around his hands there, they just look pixelated in motion, and that, I was not noticing that. And then look at this hologram. Again, it's, it's a really subtle difference, and these leaves, I know they're really subtle, but they're, they're ghosting. The leaves especially are like ghosting into each other, and it doesn't look good. The hologram, you know, it's fine when you're sta standing still. And let's see, yeah, around the edges of characters, I notice a lot more aliasing. And then the railings here, I, this is one of the more noticeably noticeable things, noticeably objective things is what I was going to say. That they're kind of flickering now. Um, maybe not flickering, but they're not very stable, you know? Oh my god, why does this always happen to me? I, actually, I think I know why. Uh, anyway, um... Around cars, like that car, and the leaves. Yeah, especially in motion. I really, I think the leaves are. God, okay, I'm gonna get out of the road. I think one of the biggest things that changed are the that are changed are the leaves. But again, yes, this is XCSS 1.3, um, and just the overall sharpness. It's less sharp, and around the, that palm tree there, you know, you can see the occlusion. It looks a lot. It looks weird, and I noticed that was a lot better in 2.0. So I wasn't expecting XCSS 2.0 to bring improvements to the upscaling. I thought it was just going to be the XCSS low latency and the XCSS frame gen technology, but it appears to have improved the upscaling too. So let's switch back to 2.0 now. Alright, we're back with 2.0. Let's check out those leaves. Yeah, I mean, okay, I'm still seeing a trail behind her a little bit, but especially in the front of her, right there, that character, I'm not noticing nearly as much aliasing around these characters. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Oh my god, okay. And the leaves, okay, the leaves here, like, they look pixelated, but they're not ghosting anymore. Very much. I really do think the leaves look a lot more natural. I don't know how to explain how... 
this is a lot more pleasant. And these grates here. There's still a more ray pattern there. That's not great. <laughs> Let's be good what I mean. <laughs> that was not a pun. That was not a pun. Um, But yeah, let's see. Let's try it at a more normal resolution. How about that? And then it won't look so fucked up. The only thing is I gotta limit the frame rate while I'm recording. Otherwise, um, otherwise it drops frames. So we're balanced now, which is gonna be upscaling from... Whoa, oh my god, they really dropped the resolutions for the, for the presets. So balanced mode is still only 847p. I guess that's still a lot higher, but I, I, I'm limiting the game to 30 FPS on purpose to make sure I don't drop frames on the recording. Okay, 847p. Hmm. I mean, I've got GPU headroom. Let's go up to quality. Let's try quality. What's that? Oh, well, it's got, I've got a, like a 960p. Okay, you know, whatever is good enough. 960p, okay, still below 1080p. This is not related to the XCSS, don't worry about that. Hmm, well, it definitely looks better, yeah. I mean, the 30 FPS doesn't look great, but. Um, you know, this is a more normal looking image, definitely. Like, the hologram looks perfect, actually. Like, this. This really resembles native, actually, now that I'm. Like, this is better than any native TAA I've ever seen, I feel like. Like, everything is sharp. At 960p. Huh. Yeah, I'm really impressed with how well DLS XESS2 <laughs> is improving image quality, actually. This is really cool. This is quality mode. But yeah, XCSS, they lowered the resolutions for each of their presets in 1.3 um, significantly to improve performance. And you know what? It was justified because the image quality also got better. Um, and they and XCSS is kind of doesn't perform the best compared to FSR um, because of the machine learning necessity of it. You know, they have to run a machine learning model even on my old ass GTX 1080 here. But this looks great, okay. Um, but let's see, let's test something else. All right, so actually I'll show you how to install it. I'll show you how to install DLSS Enabler, which is the program that I was using to let me inject any version of XCSS that I need to, um, and also just enable DLSS. But anyway, I'll show you how to install all that onto Cyberpunk. So first, you want to navigate to your Cyberpunk install directory. And then once you're there, you want to go into bin and the x64 folder where the cyberpunk.exe is. Um, and once you're there, you want to copy the directory. And then you also want to download DLSS Enabler. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. It's on GitHub here. And you go to the Releases tab. And you download DLSS Enabler.exe. So once you download that, double click on it. You accept it, if you want to accept it, I guess. And then you paste it into the directory, or navigate to it. Just either way, you got to put in the directory to the folder containing the exe for Cyberpunk. And you click Next. And you have to do something on this screen. It crashes if you use the version.dll file, so you want to select the second option, which is install as winmm.dll. That's the version that works for me. And these different options work. Different options work for different games, so um, you kind of have to just experiment. And I found that this one works. Um, if you have an AMD card, you can still use this um, with some of these other options, or an Intel card. Um, I, yeah, but I think you just need to use this, especially I'm not GTX 1080 Ti. That's what I'm using. Um, so yeah, let's just click next, and you install it. Um, you don't really need to read the README, but if you want to. And then from there, you can enable XCSS in the game. I mean, it already had XCSS in Cyberpunk, but it lets you enable DLSS, which injects XCSS of any version. And now to get the XCSS 
working in the game, you have to find the XCSS 2.0 DLL file, which I'm not going to actually link to in the description. Well, um, I guess I might be able to do it, but yeah, yeah, I think I can, because it came from Indiana Jones. I thought it was leaked maybe, but it came from the update in Indiana Jones, so that should be fine. So this is actually the mod on Nexus Mods that is shipping it first, uh, Spider-Man, but it just, it doesn't matter. You just need the 2.0 DLL. So I downloaded that. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Um, and you just download it and you can confirm that it is the XCSS 2.0 DLL by um, going to the folder in the file. Here's libxcss and you go to properties. Um, and in the details tab, you can see that it says file version 2.0. And normally, I don't know, like I wouldn't trust that or something, but all the other versions list the correct uh, version of XCSS. So let's see if I go to Cyberpunk. The version that DLSS Enabler installed is uh, libxcss, where is it? It's right here. And it is XCSS 1.3.1, which is accurate. It was released in um, July of 2024, I believe that is. So yeah, that's how old it is. And it was a, a big improvement. So it's really cool to see an improvement above that even, but I'm gonna rename it. And you should do this too for the install to libxcss 1.3.1, just so you don't lose it. Um, and the game will also ignore it now since it doesn't have the right name. So then you go to the lib libxcss 2.0 DLL that you downloaded from this mod. And you just drag it into the, or you can copy it, I'm just gonna copy it, just to be safe. Into the folder for Cyberpunk, the folder containing the exe for the game, where there's also the uninstaller for DLSS, ena DLSS enabler if you need to uninstall it. But here, now it's in the correct folder. We still have the backup for 1.3 right here, but right at the bottom here. And it needs to be named libxcss.dll, just that for the game to pick it up. So make sure it stays that. And as you can see here, it is 2.0. So now you have it installed and it should work just fine. So let's go test it. Yep, looks like the game didn't crash or anything. It's working just fine. And here in the settings, now that you did all that, you're able to go to, normally you wouldn't have DLSS be an option, but you're able to select DLSS now, even though you might not have an RTX card. I have a GTX 1080 Ti. Um, it should also work on AMD cards and Intel cards, but I have DLSS selected now. It doesn't matter whether or not you select the convolutional neural network or the transformer model, it doesn't change it. It just, you know, it's injecting the same thing, so it doesn't matter, but I don't know, leave it on transform. And yeah, so. Uh, the way you get to change what upscaler you're using is you press insert on the keyboard and now you have this little window here that gives you a bunch of statistics that are overwhelming but don't worry about it I'll tell you what's important up here in the upscalers you get to select different versions um, of FSR and of XCSS. I don't know what happens if you select DLSS. I'm not even going to try that because I'm not going to crash that. But yeah, you can select FSR if you want, um, which sometimes you need to. Some games don't work with XCSS, whether or not they just look bad or if they just crash. But And then down here, it shows you the internal resolution that it's upscaling from and then the scale factor. So those are the two useful statistics that I've found. Um, and yeah, so it's working. So again, to open it and to close it, you just press insert. And it's a nice little window here. And yeah, so that should be all you need. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments. I would love to help anyone enable DLSS. That's, that sounded ironic, that's not ironic. I, I wanna help people keep their graphics cards for longer. So leave a comment if you need any help uh, getting, work at, getting it working better. So yeah, that's probably the end of this video. Uh, yeah, XCSS 2.0 is out, guys. Pretty sick, pretty sick. Hope that tutorial made sense. And yeah, sorry for leaving the ultra performance thing on during the quality. 
I left the text that said ultra performance on during this section that was for the quality upscaling, so I'll just, sorry about that. I'm not gonna re-record it. Um, yeah, peace.